Hey, Civ fans! Today we're breaking down Civilization 7's most exciting new feature that could change how we experience multiplayer forever the ages system. Whether you're a seasoned player or just jumping into the series, this feature is something you need to know about. So what's the deal with this ages system? In Civilization 7, gameplay is divided into three distinct phases, antiquity, exploration and modern. Instead of playing through one continuous game like before, now you progress through these ages by filling up the age progression meter. Once filled, it triggers an age transition, where you choose attributes from your current civilization to carry forward into the next age. This transition is a game changer because it allows for a more dynamic and evolving gameplay experience. Every decision you make in one age affects your path in the next, which means every multiplayer match will feel fresh and unique. Now here's where the magic happens in multiplayer. In previous Civilization games, multiplayer matches could drag on for hours, sometimes even days, but the ages system introduces natural stopping points between each age, making shorter play sessions possible. This is huge. You can now complete an age and stop if you want, without having to grind through hours of gameplay. It makes multiplayer more accessible, especially for casual players or those who don't have endless time for multi-hour sessions. Another major advantage is that the Ages system levels the playing field. In older Civ games, once a player snowballed into a huge lead, it became nearly impossible for others to catch up. But now, with each age transition, every civilization gets a chance to reset and adapt, making for much more competitive multiplayer matches. No more getting left in the dust because one player snowballed into victory early on. The Ages system isn't just a gimmick, it's a bold change that could redefine Civilization 7 multiplayer experience. It offers flexibility, shorter sessions, and a more balanced playing field, everything we've been waiting for to make multiplayer more exciting and accessible. So whether you're a diehard Civ fan or new to the series, this Ages system is going to give you something completely different. Multiplayer in Civilization 7 could finally be the most balanced and thrilling it's ever been. What do you think? Will the Ages system revolutionize how we play Civ 7 multiplayer? Let me know in the comments below.